Hello Summoners and Summonettes, it's Gordon here, and today I'm bringing you a Nocturne Jungle game. So, as always, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Picking up Machete 5 as well as Warding Totem. Hi, I'm Gordon, good luck, have fun. And I'm going to be building Nocturne more geared towards the uh, kind of carry Nocturne in the jungle, where that's one reason why I actually like Nocturne at the moment in the jungle, because he has two item paths that he can go. He can go pretty much as a tank initiator and then just absorb a lot of damage. Or you can play him as an assassin and really just build full damage and really try and get catches and you can really just solo the game as just your jungle. You don't really have to rely on the team. So it's more of a solo queue build, but I'm going to go ahead and try and build that here. And I'm actually going to build the new item Feral Flame, which is just, or Feral Flare rather, but it's just absolutely ridiculous on AD junglers at the moment, such as Udyr, you got Nocturne in there, and you could even go champions like Master Yi's and Zhao and Jax even, where it just permanently scales, and with the, I believe it's his passive maim, where you heal and then it increases, and it does bonus damage to champions, and it increases with kills, assists, and large monster kills, so it pretty much just promotes you to forever farm, and that's why you're seeing a lot uh, more junglers in the meta at the moment. Okay, that was a little early bubble from uh, Jana, but I appreciate the effort. I think we have an AFK, actually. Okay, unfortunately, our rain's not here at the moment. Oh, she's a little late. She just bought, but I'm going to go ahead and start Q so I get the AD steroid or attack speed steroid off of that. And then going to go ahead and wait for it to come up. And then we will smite, actually fail smite, but ending up hitting level 2. And we will go ahead and get our... Tether our fear, our E, level 2. Don't really need the spell shield just yet in the jungle. It'd be kind of counterproductive. So, I'm going to go ahead and fear the big wolf here. Try and negate some damage out of the jungle here. And with your passive, it does get one second reduced off of every auto attack. So, we'll just look at it. Umbra Blades. It does. It's the AoE uh, auto attack that heals and does a 120% bonus damage. Or just damage, rather. So I'm going to go ahead and come to my... Wow. <laughs> accidentally feared the little lizard here at Red Buff. But i uh, going to go ahead and walk to the bush here just to see if they are invading me. I don't think they are. Honestly, I feel since I am against an Udyr, it's pretty much going to be just a farm till late game, honestly. Just because that's how a lot of the Udyrs are building at the moment. They just never really gank and they're like, Casey... Or K team, I'll see you at uh, 30 minutes and then we can team fight from there. But again, just gonna pop all my potions ever so shortly after every camp. And last one is down, so I'll probably just clear rates and then go back for the. What I believe the component of Feral Flare is the Madrid's Claws, the Blood Razors. So, should be able to pick this up. And I'm actually healthy enough just to take one more camp. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do Wolves with Smite. And a uh, tip, if you have blue buff, you can actually use your Q just to gain that MS in between camps because it obviously it increases your uh, clear time because you get there faster. So I'm going to go ahead and smite the big wolf there and we will now go ahead and back and hit level 4, pick up our W, the spell shield. And now I could go for a gank if I want if opportunity does persist here. So we have Madrid's razors now and then I'm going to go ahead and pick up a ward as well. Definitely want to get some vision of the enemy jungler just so... It not only allows me to know where he is, but it tells my team where they are as well. I'm going to go and throw the Q out just because I have blue buff still, so I'll regen the mana off of it. So don't really have to worry about that there. And I'm going to go straight to his wraiths actually. I might be able to counter jungle him, but I want to get a deep ward in at his wraith bush here. So I'm actually walking through mid by accident. I wanted to walk through my own jungle, but it's all good. I don't believe we've seen their jungle yet. Okay, so he has 9 CS. He actually went into the utility tree. He has biscuits on him, so that's a little interesting. His rates are down, so I know he's actually was in the near vicinity here, so I'm going to go ahead and just ping uh, care for the bot lane here, because he could be there. And I'll just rotate over and do my white camp for now, because I don't really want to gank at this moment, so... White camp it is, and we'll go ahead and just smite early, just get smite off cooldown. Udyr is top, so that's something to make note of. And now that I do see that, I'm going to go straight to his uh, bot side jungle and actually counter jungle him here. Hopefully he can get away. Ghost has been popped. Mastery going in. 
Will they pick up first blood? We actually get it on the trunnel and he gets away. He might pick up two kills here. That's a double kill. How did he not get an assist for that? I thought he hit him. Whatever. That was absolutely troll. Couldn't have been better for our team here, so that's a bonus. Going to be a jerk and uh, leave a mini wraith available so Udyr has to take time out of his day to clear that. And we'll drop a ward near his red bush as well. And going to go ahead and just rotate to his golems and take these as well. Going to smite the big one. That's gone. And now we'll just move to the bot lane. I'm actually behind them. We could get a potential gank here. So maybe a force flash available. But I am absolutely behind them. They do just now see me. They are pretty committed. I'm going to go ping onto Annie here. Going to spell bubble it up. Put the fear tether on Annie. Force of the flash just like I had said. Lucian flashed as well. So two flashes down. Absolutely worth for our team here. And I'm going to stay for the wave. If we back, might as well just stay for the wave and not really waste any of the XP here. Our blue buff is up very shortly. Uh, I got some good damage down on me though. So I'm just going to back actually before blue spawns so I don't have to worry about it. But that should help out their lane, honestly. Two flashes down, that's pretty big, so... Back in, picking up some more health potions, as well as a longsword and another ward again. Always want to try and pick up at least one or two wards to always keep eyes on your enemy jungler here. Udyr is bot. Forces flash out of Janna. Vayne condemned into the wall, nicely done. She's out of there scot-free. And I don't think Udyr is going to try and invade my jungle. He is pretty behind me, so... At the moment, I'm just going to wait near my blue buff and see if he shows up. 480 on my smite. They're actually just going to force the tower down, so... I'm actually at risk of losing my blue buff here, so I'm going to try and nuke it down really quick before Udyr comes and try and takes it here. And we'll pop a potion just to stay pretty healthy here. And there is the blue buff for us, so... I'm actually going to go to his red. He's level 4, I'm level 6, their bot is backing. I should be able to pick up a kill here, if not his red buff, so this actually looks very good for us here. He's at his wraiths, I saw him with the ward coverage that I have, and I'm just going to go ahead and wait for him. He might have started blue buff, which is a indication of why he's doing wraiths here, but for now I'm just going to wait, and actually we'll run at him. Alright, so get the Q down on him, pop the E, he is feared, and LeBlanc... Kaelin is rotating over, but I should be able to pick this kill up with my ultimate. Do not care. I'm just going to run through the Katarina, honestly. I have flash available. Got to flash the wall. And LeBlanc follows up. Can I get away is the question. I do walk away. So trading my flash for Katarina flash. And I pick up a kill. Very nicely done. And a kill onto the Katarina as well. Going to pop a potion. And for now, I'm just going to actually do my red buff. It's a little scary, but I think I have enough damage to burst it down with smite. And should be able to pick it up. If I die, then it's just another jungling video where Connor dies to his buff. <laughs> but no, I end up getting it, so that's good for me. And I have enough for the uh, Reels Lantern, which is pretty big for me, so... Does it upgrade at this? I don't even know how that works. We'll, f we'll read more into this, and then I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> Alright, gonna wait for full health, throw out the Q, read that up, and then uh, obviously get the steroid, MS steroid there. When does this upgrade to the lantern? 25 large kills. Okay, I finally read this. I didn't even know that. 38% increased gold for monsters as well. That's big. So, uh... Does Udyr have his red buff? He does not have his red. So I'm going to go ahead and steal his red buff here. But there's a one stack from the Feral Flame. And I do believe... Once you get Feral Flame, it actually has a really increased... Uh, radius that you can drop the ward. I'm actually going to take dragon while Udyr is top lane. Katarina is bot. I think I could solo this uh, dragon honestly with my Riggles Lantern at this point. We'll find out shortly here. LeBlanc is helping me and I'm actually going to go straight on to Katarina here with the fear leash and I do have LeBlanc rotating over. She pups the Shunpo but I knew she didn't have ignite or flash so I was safe to do so but I want their red buff. This is really risky. I don't know where the rest of their team is. We might be able to just catch Katarina here. And it looks like we will be able to catch her here. Popping the fear down on her. And I pop the uh, spell shield. So I actually absorbed Shunpo damage. Which was really big for me here. I want to steal the red buff though. So greedy. This is absolutely greedy. But I'm okay with it. 
I'm gonna try and uh, steal red. I have literally no health, but I have smite. Oh my god, that was so close. I almost died. But we're here still top lane, giving Trundle absolute help. And while I'm here, actually, I'm going to drop the ward, because I know no one's able to stop me. Cat just spawned, two bot, two top. Absolutely safe to do that here. And now I'm just going to back over here. Unfortunately, Trundle died, and he was pinging like crazy for me to come up, but... Uh, sorry, couldn't help you out there, bro. Gonna go ahead and go back, pick up the Boots of Speed, as well as another Longsword. Gonna build a Brutalizer for some early to mid-game armor penetration. And then we'll transition that probably into a Blade of the Rune King and some other carry items as well. So I've had a lot of buffs this game, which has very benefited me compared to the Udyr, which is why I have more CS than him. I'm out. Oh, I thought I was out leveling him, but I guess he actually took a lot of uh, Master Yi's XP in the top lane. So that's why we're actually tied in levels. But I am way farther built into my Riggles Lantern than he is. See him on the map there. Going to go ahead and ping back do know that he is there and I could come in for a counter gank actually bait it have oh I'm gonna go ahead and tell my LeBlanc to bait it I have ultimate available so I can just swoop in and uh, counter gank the Udyr here I think we are indefinitely stronger in a 2v2 oh we have him cut out yo yo go 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 oh yeah we got him where did he go? He's invading my jungle. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the fear on Uder right away. We should get him with a LeBlanc chain as well. That is a dead Uder. Gonna go ahead and pop my ult and fly to the Katarina too and try and just die her here. I'm ab absolutely destroying her. I'm probably gonna die, but worth. Takes two off the map. We should be able to get mid tower, and I really wanted the kill just to, uh. I don't know, I just really wanted to kill. I was kind of pissed off at the time. I don't know. I, I knew I could kill her, but I thought I could actually get out for free, but not tanky just yet. But overall, two for one exchange, pretty much worth for my team, in my opinion. And I can't decide. I'm just going to buy the other... I'll buy the other longsword and then another potion as well. Or ward, rather. My blue did just spawn, so that's more than likely where I'm going to go next. And then I'll probably go to clear my own red as well. Still can't really take Dragon off the map just yet. I don't think I'll be able to because I actually have some decent ward coverage as we see Jana taking up the Vision Ward on Dragon. And I think she might be caught out here. Don't bring them to me. I'm doing my blue buff, please. Alright, so I get my blue buff. Is Uder actually on it? No, he's not. He backs off of it, so don't need to worry about that. He is coming bottom, so I'm going to stick around for the counter gank. Never mind, he just wards. And actually, one thing that I have done wrong thus far this game that I should have done differently, I needed to actually swap my warding totem for a uh, sweeper. So I'm going to go and throw the Q down, force the flash out of the Katarina here, and actually we might pick up the kill, but I get the tether onto Uder here. Pick up the kill on Katarina, very nice. Can we get another chain nicely done? And I hit him with my Q, so I get that movement speed steroid, and throw another tether down onto him and there's the kill nicely done gonna go ahead and shove mid lane really quick and he's here as well gonna go ahead and actually bait out her heal i'm probably dead here more than likely oh i was gonna flash that wall couldn't flash it in time unfortunately i wasn't expecting all three i think their master e teleported in as well so that's quite unfortunate and their both their bot lane came while our vein stayed bottom unfortunately but gonna go ahead and put another point into my Q in and now it is fully maxed out. I have the Brutalizer and next item up for me is a Blade of the Rune King probably so I'm gonna wait 10 gold for another longsword and for now I'm gonna do my red buff. I don't know I don't really want to take dragon just yet. We're close to Feral Flare as well so I really want to get that as well. Take his red while <laughs> this guy's so mad because I haven't ganked his lane even though he's winning his lane. Like yeah, he's getting up fun, but I didn't need to gank him because he honestly he got that uh, failed tower dive by the enemy team early on. So one thing I keep forgetting to do as well is use my dang Wiggle Wiggle's lantern. It gives you a reward, and I just keep forgetting to use it. So I'm going to right after I kill this wraith camp. All right, gonna go ahead and clear out the wraith camp. Really close to my feral flare, dropping that ward down, giving some vision of Uder in case he does try to counter jungle me. 
And if I did have a sweeper, oh, I'm actually here for the counter gank, luckily enough. Gonna go ahead and ping, uh, go on to the Katarina here, and wow, she blew up that Udir. I'm luckily able to pick up the answer kill onto the Katarina as well, so two for O. That LeBlanc just decimated that Udir. That was incredible, so should be a free dragon for us to take, honestly. There's no jungle or mid lane. And I'm gonna go ahead and ping dragon, see if Vayne can come over and help me out. We'll pop a ward down near their red side bush here. It actually is pink warded, so I'm gonna clear it out really quick. If any comes, I do have my spell shield available. Not worried about it. Thank you for the uh, attack speed steroid. And we'll just clear out this pink ward as well and then not actually do the dragon here. So for now, I'm just gonna back off and clear some of my jungle again. And then I'll go back, pick up a vamp scepter, and then we will be pretty much good to forever clear our jungle, so clearing this out, easy peasy, and hopefully Botland does not die to them. Wow, their Udyr is 1 in 5, so I'm pretty far ahead of their Udyr, which is nice. Picking up the Vamp Scepter, like I said, and we'll actually buy a Vision Ward for ourselves here. LeBlanc, she's just going ham on this Katarina, another kill there. Awesome that she is ahead and uh, doing very well for herself. She should be able to distortion over the wall. Unless she just decides to try and kill Udyr as well. Bot lane, they are aggressing, so I'm going to go ahead and come. Show them that I'm coming. Hit Annie. I miss Annie with the Q. Actually, Absorber Tibber is there, and that will be a free kill for us here. So, nicely done out of the team. I just smited when I wanted to do Dragon, so that was a misclick. Udyr is dead, however, so this should be free for us. Master Yi coming in hot on the LeBlanc. Will she be able to get out? The chain lands and he gets stunned up, so she walks away no problem. Vision Ward does go down. Nothing on Dragon. I should be able to take this for free. Lucian could potentially steal it because I don't have Smite, but I hope he doesn't. LeBlanc actually going for a Soul Stealer. Getting really greedy. I like it. Should be able to blow this up. Hopefully I don't die to it. I don't think I will. But uh, Lucian could definitely steal this with ease. But I ended up picking it up easily, so 4-2-3 is my score. I'm farming really well compared to the Udyr. He's pretty behind, and it's looking very good for our team here. So I'm going to go ahead and fear the white camp here, smite it up, and we'll back. Got level 2 ultimate, so range is increased on that. It does scale per uh, point you put into the ultimate there. And I have enough for my Bilgewater Cutlass, which is very nice. So again, on usual backs, we pick up a ward as well as another health potion. And I have a lot of activatable items in my uh, inventory at this point. I forgot to change the sweeper again. Next back, I'm buying a sweeper no matter what. So LeBlanc wants blue buff. I will give it to her this time because she's doing very well. Just absolutely destroying her lane. And going to make sure to give this to her because she's having a little hissy fit about it. And should be able to kill that with her distortion there. There you go. I hope you're happy. Almost have Feral Flare here, just a few more camps for me to take out here, and we will be set to take that. So, going straight to our rates, and then Golems, and hopefully a red buff after it spawns. Have my ult available. Might gank top lane just to help Trundle out, he's being a little troll and uh, saying that he needs ganks. Udyr is bot, Jana might be cut out. Nice flash and condemn from the vein as well. So I'm going to ping that I'm coming. Sorry Udyr, there's no jungle there for you to kill, because I've killed it all. And I might be able to just swoop in and honestly uh, get past Udyr here with my ultimate. Yes, we can see you, Udyr. I'm going to go ahead and ping and go straight on to Nocturne here. going to go ahead and put the tether on him and try and spell shield Annie burst, but ends up not being able to get it. I get exhausted. Need to back out just a little bit. Pop the bilge water on Udyr. Try and slow him up. Vayne is really far in there. Forced to flash, and Lucian flashed as well, so 0 for 0 exchange, and... I pretty much just left as soon as I got exhausted, didn't want to overcommit. And I'm going to smite Tibbers if he comes close, because I want that gold. Yeah, give me that gold. Our jungler is trash as fuck. Somebody is very mad. Alright, what is their team? Not too much on CC, and they have some decent auto attacks. So I'm going to go Ninja Tabba here, actually, and try and negate some of the damage here. And I didn't forget, swapping it for a sweeper this time. You guys thought I forgot. I was just baiting you. Alright, gotta use my Reels Lantern ward as well as my own ward and try and get some vision on Baron now. 
Definitely don't want them to sneak that in. 60 seconds on my alt, so gonna take red real quick and just uh, really keep farming up, getting big compared to their Udyr, honestly. And like I said earlier, I pretty much have forever sustain with the Village Water Cutlass completed on me, so don't have to worry about my health from clearing camps here, which is really nice. Nicely done, trying to pick up a kill onto the Master Yi in the top lane, and again, level up, put another point into my fear. And now we start increasing the uh, the ward coverage here, and that ward that ward range when you have the feral failure completed completed rather is absolutely disgusting. What else do you get from this? I think it's just that honestly. So now I get the scaling uh, damage per hit onto champions as I clear out uh, jungle camps, the big camps, as well as getting kills or assists, which is very nice. And Udyr is just absolutely surrounded here. Gonna go ahead and uh, hit him with Q, hopefully. So I do get MS. Nicely done. Into a little Blanc Chain, into a Fear. That is a dead Udyr. And that is another assist that helps me scale up. So that's looking good for me. How much damage is it right now? I thought that was supposed to scale. Does it? Oh, it'll tell me here, I think. So every 10 seconds... Nope, that's my Umber Blade. That, that's bugged. It should not be that icon. That's actually funny. There we go. So it increases. How much does it increase per... I don't think it tells you. That's kind of lame. But yeah, uh, definitely this item allows you to continue to clear jungle throughout the game and actually have a good reason to do so. So I enjoy the item a lot. I think it brought back a lot of junglers into the current meta. So I'm going to go and pull the... Rave camp here, and we'll smite it up and get another stack onto our Feral Flare here. And now hitting level 13, having Q and E maxed as well. So looking good for us to team fight here. I think I can just run at this E honestly and try and kill him. He does end up just backing off, no problem here. I'll just take the wave and continue to farm. How does this not tell me how much it increases? I'm a little sad that it doesn't tell me. I want to know the bonus damage on it. Oh well. I know it does scale, so... Oh, maybe it's just one. It said... Okay. Okay. It scales one health per hit. Maybe not the damage per hit, but... We're learning things. Nope, it does do the damage. Okay, so it's one health that you get back, as well as three damage per kill, assist, or large camp. Math is hard, but we figured it out. So it's a 3-in-1 scaling item. That's pretty big, honestly. If you have great wave clear or jungle clear, such as Nocturne, Warwick, and uh, other champions I listed before, this item is very efficient on you. And he just absolutely getting decimated. I spell shield her stun there. LeBlanc just kind of went in and killed her. I am coming to try and save you, Trundle. Nice pillar, but I think Uder still has him. Juke to me, juke to me, juke to me. I'm going to go ahead and pop the ult, and once I'm in range, I will fly to the Udyr here and stunning him up. And there's the fear into a Jana knockup, and I'm just going to run away. Jana gets the kill. I didn't want to die to tower. Better safe than sorry. Nicely done. That will be a bot tower for us as well. And I should be able to rotate, pick up blue, and then I'm going to take dragon as well. I guess I could do dragon first. I'd rather get the uh, blue so I get some mana for dragon, so I don't take as much damage on it, but... John is trying to assist me here, so I should be able to pick it up without a doubt. 760 on smite, so I'm going to quick dragon and get ready to uh, smite it at the appropriate time. We'll throw the Q over, get the uh, attack speed going. And as soon as it drops within range, right there. Nice. Not a bad smite at all. Smited right when it got into range. And LeBlanc, I forgot I have to give her blue because she's doing well. And she would... uh be pissed off otherwise <laughs> all right let's see if he's oh he's got a bork i thought he was making fun of my build i was like damn this guy's just going after me today i have a blade of the king as well we match all right next item i want what do i want what do i want no one's really fed on their team so why not pick up some more damage we'll uh go for a should we go last whisper that's a little overkill i think we're going to complete our Yomu's Ghost Blade. I like it. So when I go in, I just pop Yomu's and uh, Blade of Learn King and absolutely decimate with my activatable items here. LeBlanc picking up a kill on the Annie and should be able to get out because she has blue 
as well as a lot of distortions. Janna and Trunnel are there to assist her as well. She gets out, they're attacking her clone, that's pretty awkward from the enemy team, but hilarious at the same time. And they're actually trying to turn on this, so get the chain on Uder, teleport comes out of Master Yi. This is actually scary for our team if they cannot get out. And team wants me to push actually, so LeBlanc goes down, one down, I'm still farming, and I'm going to get trashed on for my team for still farming. My ult's up, I'm going to go ahead and rotate, no mind, team's dead, I'm not going to rotate. I'm just gonna push. Yo, he's gonna he's gonna be so mad. Watch this, watch this comment. So strong. E, please. Okay, they're not actually that mad. All right, taking the uh, wolves here. Wow, he gets another kill on the Jana as well, and actually suicides to the tower. Their blue buff is up, so I'm gonna go ahead and steal this really quick. And Vayne is uh, still split pushing top, so I think someone's gotta come stop her soon. And I'm just going to stay in the near vicinity and try and counter gank when they do try and stop her here. Alright, so Udyr is here to stop her. And she's good 1v1, but I feel like they're sending someone else. So I have my ult. Going to wait for her to get attacked, honestly. I'm using her as bait. It's kind of mean, but there's two. And oh my goodness, this was not a appropriate time for me to come over. <laughs> that was really well coordinated. The anti flashed which allowed the uh, Katarina to Shunpo over as well. I can 1v4. I'm pretty sure you were just in a 1v4 situation and got dumpstered, so I don't think you can. Unfortunately, Vayne died before she could even all out. I thought we can maybe get a kill. Nicely done. Gets a kill onto the Katarina LeBlanc. Did. But uh, she just absolutely melted, which was pretty hilarious, yet horrifying at the same time. My score stays the same. Luckily, I was able to flash the wall. And while I have my ward up from Feral Flare, I'm going to go ahead and ward Baron up over the wall. New OP uh, addition to that item. And until my ult's up, I'm really just going to farm simulator it up. Just continue to uh, get the Feral Flare going. I'm going to shove... Actually, I think top's going to shove for us ever so slightly. Nope, it'll slow shove for them, but it's not that bad. So I'm going to go ahead and go back, pick up my Ghost Blade... And now I'm gonna start finishing my Black Cleaver here, so... I have a lot of usable items actually as a jungler, which... I should be used to being a support, but I still feel like I'm gonna mess it up somehow. And Yi is top, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually assist Vayne. My team's got it down there. I lied, as I say that uh, Katarina gets a reset and destroys. What was that flash? Oh my god, please live. Okay, she got him. That, I get what she tried to do, she tried to condemn him into the tower, but damn was that, uh, risky. We'll just leave it at that. Let's duo. I want Vayne to uh, duo Baron with me. We should destroy it, having two Blade of the Rune Kings. Absolutely gonna pop it. And we have Trundle's Blade of the Rune King as well. So, if team comes, we should be able to pick this up. John is gonna assist me. Let's go. You and me can do it. Screw what anyone else thinks. Trundle's just going to push mid, he's been a little baby, and uh, Vayne's pushing top, so we'll see if I can actually do this with Janna. It looks like I'm going to be able to so far. Going to pop a potion, just trying to keep me healthy with Janna's shields as well. We're able to solo this, actually. 850 on the smite here. I say solo, and then I'm actually doing it, but same concept. I'm going to pop Ghost Blade, get a little more burst on it, and going to pop Spill Shield, actually, because you can... Spill Shield a Baron debuff, which uh, will give you more attack speed when doing Baron, so definitely something to note. And there's Baron for the team here. Nice duo out of the Janna as well as myself here. Master Yi just Alpha Strike. I'm going to go ahead and go in onto him here and fear him up. He should die here and free kill for us. As soon as he Alpha Strike, I went in there because pretty much that's the only way Master Yi can really kind of deal with Nocturne in a sense where... You just Alpha Strike as soon as the fear is going to tether onto you, and then you can actually cancel it out, I believe. So, good uh, initiation by me. Easy kill for us, and we back out with the kill. And don't have enough. I forgot. Black Cleaver actually needs another uh, Brutalizer, which I used already. So, that's pretty awkward. So, what can I turn this Health Crystal into? Maybe a Trinity Force. I like it, actually. Maybe Frozen Mallet. Frozen Mallet wouldn't be too bad, but uh, I want to have tons of damage, as some people would say, so I'm going to go for a Trinity Force on Nocturne. 
gonna go ahead and go back now for it actually for the phage component just allow me to really stick onto my opponents so don't have to worry about uh, positioning in team fights. I can just constantly be on people with my Q. Accidentally threw that out the wrong way. As well as Phage. And Blade of the Rune King and Yomu's Ghost Blade. I should, if I pick a target, I should be able to stick to that target the entirety of the team fight. Without their discretion. Alright, so gonna go ahead and rotate over to Dragon. Pick it up really easily. 427's my score. Absolutely have a ton of farm on me compared to the Udyr, who's uh, 1 and 8. Not having the best game, but uh, luckily for us, he's not having the best game. And there's the Smite and Dragon for us. An alt is available. I might just go straight for bot lane here. Am I in range? I am in range. I'm going to go ahead and pop alt onto the Lucian here. Pop Ghost Blade, and there you go. This is a dead Lucian here. He cannot do anything about it. I'm just so fed. have so much... Uh, potential to just stick on targets here with my Blade of the Rune King Ghost Blade as well as you know Fear and my Q. He even popped Summoner Heal and could not even come close to getting away from me there so easy kill that's what I was talking about the assassination potential on Nocturne if you build straight damage and the rest of their team is mid so I'm just gonna push bot really quick have really good damage and uh, should be able to blow up this tower for free here so Two bot, Messi is teleporting. I think I can solo him, but I'm gonna go ahead and run away for now. What level is he? 16. He's got some decent damage on him. The rest of their team are coming down as well, so I'm just gonna Q and continue to run away here. Don't really want to beef with that. And next item up, do I choose to go for Sheen and do a little bit more damage, or Zeal get some more MS on me? Oh, please let me back. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna go with the Sheen. Just get some more mana on me as well, because sometimes I go Oom. This Trunnel is absolutely trying to troll me and pillar me in place, but he's so salty for some reason. I don't even understand why. He's just, uh. Just mad, man. This Udyr item? Why are you mad, bro? I want the same item. Alright, do I give her a red buff? Hell nah, dude. I'm carrying. You're not carrying. You're 2 3. You're not even doing anything. You just sit top lane. <laughs> I'm going to use that red buff to give me more reason to stick onto my targets here. Have all my active item or available. Lucian is top lane. As soon as I'm in alt range, he's dead. And a rip. And a blade of the rune king. And my ghost blade. And I'm going to flash onto you. And you're dead. Rip. <laughs> That's so dumb. He flashes, I flash, he dies. Rip. And rest of the team. Master G is on me. I have fear available and he does get feared off I should be able to run away hopefully here oh my god he's still chasing me oh god all right rest of the team converged on their team picking up a kill on Annie should be able to kill Uder as well nice flash condemn that was really good out of vein and that fear on Yi, yeah luckily enough he ran straight away from me I think they changed that recently where you j I'm not sure if Nocturne's fear was one fear that was changed as well but uh he ran straight away from me, and that pretty much let me live, so I'm grateful for that. And after I do red buff, I should have enough money for Trinity Force. With that tower going down, I already do, so looking very beautiful for us here. Smite in the red, and that's done. Gonna go ahead and go back for Trinity Force. I just do so much damage at this point. I can pretty much kill whoever I ult within a heartbeat and uh, create some uneven fights here, so... Gonna go ahead and go back, pick that up, as well as a vision ward. Try and deny some vision when we are pushing onto their towers here. There's the surrender vote. GG627 is my final score. Not bad game, and uh, just kind of shows the new Feral Flare item. Brings a lot of junglers back into the scene. So if you like the video, go ahead and throw it a like. I'll have all my other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, as well as Facebook, and Runes and Masteries in the info box below. And as always, guys, I will see you all next time.